guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be an updated makeup routine video a lot of you have requested especially on instagram just asking me to do a detailed video on this look that i've been rocking of late guys and i've been wearing this makeup look back to back back <laughs> to back i love how everything looks very neutral very matte i wear it everywhere and i'm wearing a liner shocker that's one of the first things you guys noticed and started asking for a tutorial so yes i've changed a couple of things and i'm not surprised that some of you noticed that i've changed some things when it comes to my technique and that is the reason why i look a bit different okay if you guys are wondering about this wig that i'm wearing it is from natural girl wigs they do a lot of extensions and wigs that look like natural hair or just mimic our own hair texture when it's straight and when it's left alone the extensions are curly or coily like you know the way our hair looks when it's in its natural state they have some straight ones like this one that i'm wearing and these ones they mimic our hair texture what our hair looks like when they've been straightened and blown out so i like this one and this hair is very soft guys i installed this hair yesterday and the first thing i noticed about it is that it's very very soft this particular one that i'm wearing is their kinks highlight and the length is 18 inches there's a version of this particular wig that is in colored if you want something that looks like your own hair texture when it's been blown out and straightened they have that as well so basically they have a wide range of products for women who are looking for natural hair extensions i'm going to have their details in the description box a direct link to their website and a direct link to this particular unit that i have on my head and you can also use the discount code that i'm going to have on the screen now if you use that you're going to get some money off your order if you order from them so let us get into this tutorial okay okay Okay, so first, like a lot of you have noticed, my brows have kind of changed. They look a lot fuller and a lot sharper. And a lot of you have been asking me, do something, like do an updated brow routine video. I don't think I need to do an updated brow routine video because the technique that I currently use for my brows, I used to use it heavily three years ago. I have an entire video dedicated to it. So I use soap on my brows now. I use transparent soap. I've been using it since this year. And I used to do that in 2017 when the soap brow technique started popping off. I did an entire video dedicated to that. A lot of you did not like that video. It's so weird how things have just kind of changed now and brands are now even kind of making their own version of soap so that you can achieve the same effect a lot of people were like asking oh if you sweat the soap is going to go from your brows and enter your eyes guys for soap to actually create a sword and then enter your eyes it needs water and some sort of activation you know you using soap as a type of wax to lay your brow hairs down that should not in any way blind you i've been using this guys i sweat everything whatever your brows just remain intact a lot of brands have tried to come up with their own version of this now a lot of brands like even abh very recently created a product that is supposed to mimic the effect you get with soap and even makeup revolution too like i saw that they have like a product that also kind of gives you the same effect guys nothing beats soap as far as i'm concerned and i'm saying this from experience okay and what type of soap do you need you need transparent soap this one is ps transparent any type of transparent soap but if you can find this get it this is also much cheaper than all the products that i've seen these brands come out with okay this is ps transparent soap in nigeria here it sells for 300 naira like less than 300 naira depending on where you buy it from so it's not that expensive at all so what i do is i use a makeup fixing mist any type of mist you can even use water i just have this mist here this mist is from pixie but trust me it does not matter what makeup mist you use and just spray it on a spoolie this spoolie that i have here is the one that is on the other end of my brow pencil and then just you know work it into the soap like this okay use it to create friction and what you're going to have on the spoolie is some sort of wax okay you have to make sure that you create this thick paste so it's a thick paste but then once it goes on your brows it's going to serve as a wax to lay the hairs down my brows are very sparse okay and i was kind of frustrated with my brows a lot last year but this has helped so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use this to brush my brow hairs upwards like this so I do this first now before I even do a primer, anything. Like normally to make sure that my brows last longer, I kind of do a primer in that area first before going in with the pencil. 
trust me this beats that okay i'm going to repeat that on the other brow this also helps like especially when your brows are unruly and you've not like had your brow appointments to kind of tweeze or thread or whatever it is or even wax whatever you do for your brows this will help you even create a consistent shape because it sets all your hairs in place and helps you figure out what is out of place or what you can just use a tweezer to remove i actually like this a lot and guys let me tell you your brows will not move you guys can see that my brows look a lot fuller than they did when i started so if i want to create a like nice even consistent shape here what i do is i just take that brush and i easy to go over the top like this you guys can see that it kind of just cleans up that place and folds whatever hair was sticking up into the direction that you want it to go i'll do the same thing for this area as well so i think i'm happy with the way that they look now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a couple of minutes to dry the best way to know that they are dry is if they are no longer tacky like when you touch them they're not a little bit sticky then know that they've dried down i am going to define my brows now okay i'm not really going to fill them in i'm just going to define them you can use any type of brow pencil that you have this one i have here is by a brand a Ghanaian brand called evita joseph I had to switch another brow pencil. I did not know that this one had finished. So it kind of finished midway. So this one that I used to finish it was my Colourpop brow pencil in Banging Brunette. So you guys can see that I have defined my brows, but I have not filled them in. So to fill them in, I'm going to fill them in with powder. And this is my ABH um, Dark Brown Brow Powder Duo. I'm going to take um, an angled brush and I'm going to start filling in my brows now i'm using like the darker brown in this particular duo done filling them in i'm going to go in with concealer now mac studio finish concealer nw40 dragging that concealer down before blending it out because i don't want it to look like i just have a straight line of like bright concealer on my immediate under eye primer this one is abh eye primer this isn't clear like the other type of primers that i'd normally use so i just use very little of this at a time okay just this much and i'm going to focus on my crease because that's where everything starts kind of you know breaking apart with this I'm not going to take this primer all the way to my brow bone area, no. So next I'm going in with my P. Louise base in Room More 4. The shade is very similar to the shade of concealer that I used on my brow bone area. So I'm going to take this up just so that it kind of covers that um, primer that I use nicely. I actually need to repurchase my MAC Prep and Prime, but this will do for now. Okay, everything looks the way that I want it to. Going in with translucent powder. This is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going to set everything that I've just applied there. Not everything shot, but just I'll start from my crease and then take this powder upwards to my brow bone area. So, first shade that I'm going to use on my eyes is this one by ABH called Real Ga. And as usual, this shade is going to serve as my transition shade, okay? Just working it into this area here, bringing it down. Next, from ABH still, this eyeshadow, this dark brown shadow, it's called Deep Plum, but I think it's a dark brown. I'm going to start applying this here, just on my outer corner and taking it inwards, okay? I want to create some depth here, but I want to be very, like, just gradual and gentle with the way that I build the color up. Taking this color into this area here, just to the top of my brows, but if I dip it into the brush, I start here, put most of the color here, and then whatever is left, I kind of drag it in. Don't just go like this immediately because the color might not look good, okay? Guys, I'm almost done with this eye look. It's actually not, it's not hard. So last color that I'm going to apply in that area. So this is my Dabota palette. I'm going to take this black. This black is very pigmented and very nice. And I'm just going to pack it into this area too. Just a little bit, not too much. 
So I'm going to take a small detailed blending brush, not an eyeshadow brush guys, a small blending brush and I'm going to take this shade here in this palette. So the black one that I used was called Kanu and then the one that I'm going to use on my lid space is this one here called Ibadan, this one in the middle. So I'm going to blend that color into this area and not pack it in, okay? The effect you get is more seamless. It looks like a lot more like blended. There are no harsh lines and it can be a bit tricky working with like only matte eyeshadows. But this, I found that it's just much better than using an actual shading brush for this area when it comes to this. So depending on how bright you want your lids to look, then that should determine the amount of like eyeshadow you put in that area. But I just want it to look, you know, bright and nice, like not too bright or look like I've done a lot in that area. If I'm even making any sense. But guys, I love this look so much. Like it is to die for. Okay. I love how nice and neutral it looks. You can actually just stop with the dark plum that I use. You do it. You don't need to go in with the black. I just like, I'm used to going in with the black at this point. And that's why I did. FYI. If you find that the black that I've just used is maybe too dark for you, you can just stop with a dark brown. To set my brow bone area, I'm going to use a shade from ABH called Fresh. This time around, I'm not blending. I'm patting it like, you know the way you set powder and you set foundation or concealer? That's the same thing I'm doing to the concealer that I have in this area. I'm going to go back in with that first shade that I used as a transition shade, Royal Gar, I think. Well, guy, I don't know. And I'm going to use it to just blend everything in this area out, you know, where the crease color kind of meets the brow bone color. I'm just going to use it to blend it out so that everything looks nice and seamless in that area. So that same color that I use on my brow bone area, I'm going to just dust it a little bit into my tear duct, okay? A little bit. So it's eyeliner time. I'm going to line my eyes with this brown gel liner. Okay, so I've been using this a lot. You guys can see. I'm just going to create like a decent winged line on both eyes. Eyes. <laughs> so. See, very easy. I've done this one, gonna do this one. Some mascara. This one is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras ever. The wand you get with this particular end is curved. So I like it for that. Lashes. I like these lashes, they're very fluttery. Um, okay, before I move on to the rest of the face, I'm going to go back with that gel liner and just make sure that I use it to cover the band of the falsies that I just applied. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys saw that, um, <laughs> but I had to go really close to the camera to do that. Um, more mascara, just to make sure that my natural lashes, that they blend with the falsies. Lining my waterline, this is a Huda Beauty Life Liner. It comes with like a liquid liner and a pencil liner. I like the pencil liner, so. So moving on to the face now. First, I'm going to apply a primer. Still my regular Too Faced Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. My MAC Studio Fix Fluid. So highlighting with two different concealers. First one is from Flawless Ivy and it's the High Coverage Concealer in FL04. So this is the first one that I'm going to apply on all the areas where I'd normally, you know, apply concealer. Ooh. 
contour this is my abh um stick foundation in truffle and i'm going to first start from my forehead just making sure that i don't have too much So the same foundation, this time with a small blending brush, I'm going to just apply this foundation in this area here, okay? I'm going to apply another concealer. This is the same concealer from Flawless Ivy, but this particular one is in number two, okay? I'm just applying this in this area here. I'm not applying it as much as I did the first one and just this much on my nose so this is more highlight than I'd normally use you know for those of you who are just wondering okay what else is different outside of her brows you know I highlight with two concealers that are lighter than the ones that I'd normally use um, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this is my Milani press powder in earth glow so guys my Highlight and contour technique is just slightly different and I take my time like just blending things out to make sure that they're exactly where I want them to be, you know. So this is Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder but this particular one is medium deep and I'm going to use this to carve out my contour. So like this, okay. So dust off all the excess powder at this point. We're getting there, almost done. Okay, so that brown that I used on my crease, the same one from ABH, and I'm just going to dust this on my lower lash line, okay? Just apply it and blend it out, okay? I'm going to apply some mascara on my bottom lashes. This is my Ingot Lash Enhancer. I think that whenever you have like lashes that are this fluttery on top, you need something to balance it out underneath. So it's either you apply some false lashes under, which is just like a lot of work if you ask me, or you just make sure that you take your time and apply mascara. <laughs> So, <clears throat> some blush. Guys, blush is very, very important. This is my MAC powder blush in Raisin, as usual. This is my everyday, like, go-to blush. You know, it's not too bright. It's not too dark. It just, like, highlights my cheekbones nicely. Guys, honestly, with my makeup, like, I don't even use highlighter all the time these days. Like, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. So this particular one is from RLG Cosmetics. You can actually skip highlighter at this point. I don't think that it is essential. Um, but if you really want your cheekbones to have, like, extra highlight, then use it. And then just a little bit on the tip of my nose. Some lip balm. Um... Finishing this look up with lip liner and a lip gloss. So the lip liner that I've been using is the Makeup Shayla X Color Pop. It's like an old lip liner that I have. One thing that I really change is that normally I'll underline my lips. Like I don't line my lips. Lips. I don't line my lips fully. I normally just kind of line it under the border. But this time around, I've been lining it a lot more. Like just the whole thing fully. And that's why my lips look a lot fuller to some of you. So let's do that. So first lip gloss that I'm going to be using, this one is from Dabota and it's Naive. I 
I'm going to apply like a lighter gloss just right on top of that one. This is ABH Lip Gloss in Nude. So I'm just going to smack my lips to take my time out to blend that. So lastly, what I'll do at this point is to go in with another lip gloss from ABH. This particular one is Crystal. It's a clear gloss and I'm going to use this to cover my entire lips, not just the areas where I have gloss. I'm going to do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so last thing that I've been doing is I just go into this palette by Dabota. This is the Grail palette. And I take this shade here, okay? And I just like apply this in this area here. It's the last thing I do. It just brightens this area up a lot more. Okay, so this is it. This is a look that a lot of you have asked me to recreate here on YouTube. I love how matte and neutral this is and this is why it's been my go-to you know so i hope that this answered your questions and kind of answer questions as to why a couple of things look different i'm excited about my makeup these days like i tend to get bored but i'm excited about it just because of these changes that i have made so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you are not yet subscribed i'll see you guys in my next one mm.